Hey there. So by the time you see this video, I'll probably be back from my trip because it's only a short trip. Um, I'm going to Las Vegas or more exactly, I'm going to outside Las Vegas and then we're taking a drive and going to, well, the hope is Zion National Park and Bryce Canyon and just tour around the magnificent landscape out there in Utah and Nevada. So what am I going to take on my trip for sketching? And I may have to cut off while filming because I still have a really sore throat. Um, it's not COVID related, but I assume it's a cold. I've been testing regularly. Um, I've had my flu shot. I've had all my vaccines. Um, it's probably just cold and it's probably hitting me because I haven't had a cold for nearly three years. So anyways, Here's what I'm taking. I bought this bag and I'm gonna put up um, a better shot of this. It's a Valraven bag and I've been using this all summer. It's fantastic. It has this little pocket up here. Um, it has another little compartment here and it's nice and big, it's nice and floppy. Uh, it has side pockets, so I usually have um, my water bottle on one side and a little water container. And I'll have a palette in one side, maybe. Maybe I'll just keep my other palette. Um, sunscreen and a sharpener. Sharpener I just started putting in here because uh, it was taking up too much room in my little pencil case. And then it has the front zip up. So. Next is this pencil case, pen case. Um, I've shown it before on videos and it has worked like a dream. And I've also shown this little palette that I created from a gift box and I'll put a link to that video up here. So this is just a mixture of different brands. I mean, my own little viewfinder. I have some of my business cards and that all fits in that little pocket. And then that's the what's in there. So got that, open it up and it has these two like sort of book compartments. So what am I taking? It's very much what I took uh, to New York and with the enhancement of what I bought in New York. So I bought this quill mop brush in New York and also this Mottler um, kind of wash flat brush. So I'm gonna take those two. I always take a little ruler I don't know why. Um, I have fine liners. This is a 0 0.05 by Micron. I have another one. Uh, this is 0 0.1 black. Those are both black, yes. Um, I have a brown fine liner, Windsor Newton, and that's a 0 0.1. I have a little water brush, and I can't remember who makes this one but it's a little one and it's got a nice big um, brush on it i'll have to do something about that because it kind of annoys me i have mechanical pencil in a 0.5 and i've had that this for years and years and then over on this side, I have a white uh, extra fine point point seven Pantel Touch in white for adding little highlights. I have yet another Winsor Newton fine liner. This one's gray and it's point one as well. Uh, this is Manami um, Twin Brush in a very light gray. So there's that. And I like um, using this for like shading 
at times. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring this or not. This is um, a Marabou Art Crayon in white. It's water soluble as well. I got that in New York. And then my Fude pens. The one with the tape is in um, Document Ink. Um, this is actually Diatrementis, but it's um, brand labeled with Lay Lines, which is a really, really nice uh, fine writing store in Toronto. And it's in Urban Sepia. So that's brown. And then the other one is in black carbon ink, platinum carbon ink. So that's filled. I'll have to remember to maybe refill it. And if you haven't seen these before, these Fude pens have um, a bent nib, 55 degrees. And so you can do um, thick and thin strokes. I'm not bringing my other fountain pens. I think this is enough between the fine liners and the Fude pens. I think we're fine. And then I have, what's this? Nothing. Then I have this little clip and I'll have another one in my bag just to keep my pages down. I have a little kneadable eraser that I got at Blix and a regular white eraser. That's Derwent. It's really nice and small, so I love this. Um, oh, this is kind of stuck in here because the gouache I have, I'm not even going to try to well, I'll have to pull it out at some point. Um, it's white gouache Holbein. Uh, so that's a little tiny tube. And then this is a little tiny travel brush. So I just pop that in here. And then the rest of the travel brushes are in this pocket. I'll start with... Do I have any more? Yeah. There's four of them here. I have the Escoda Ultimo in a size two. And then there is Rosemary & Co. And this is, well, I have a video of this. I'm not sure what size they say this is. I think maybe a 10, nope. It's the R19, whatever that size is. So round, and then I have 10 in the Escoda Altimo, which is kind of more like a, an eight, if not even a six. So hence, that's why I got the, the big Rosemary & Co. And then this is a six in um, Tintoretto. So do I really need all of these? Maybe not, but I did use quite a few of them while I was away last time. And now the pencils. So it's a combination of uh, a few companies. Start with Derwent Lightfast in grass green. Beautiful color. Caran d'Ache Luminance in Raw Umber 10%. This one is a water soluble, um, stabilo, aquellable, aquellable uh, in brown. I don't think it has a real name to it, but it's brown. And then it has a version in black, which is really great for like really, really strong blacks. And I thought I had another one somewhere. Well, it's not here. I'll have to track it down because there definitely is a green. Oh, here it is. There's a green in the same. And then I have uh, Pablo Carandash. This is the gray. Luminance. I have a uh, light cobalt blue and I love this for doing um, windows and then I have um, the Thalo blue 162 luminance 
Then I absolutely love these Derwin drawing pencils. They're fantastic. Um, they're just so smooth and lay down a lot of color. I just wish they came in um, more colors, but they tend to be all um, very earth tones. So I would have talked about these in other in other videos. So this is a sepia red. Then there is the Chinese white, great for highlights. And Venetian red. And I think because where I'm going, I'm going to add two more of them. I'm going to add the terracotta and the Mars orange because beautiful landscape is just, there's so many um, hills and everything in the, these beautiful terracottas, oranges, and what have you. And then this well-used Payne's Gray 60% by Luminance. Uh, another Pablo in golden yellow. That may, no, I'll probably still keep it. I brought, I put it in here because I knew yellow cabs in um, New York had to have yellow, but there'll be less yellow cabs where I'm going. There'll be no cabs. Uh, so Derwent Light Bass in Forest. Now I got these extra ones. These are extras that I got at Hyatt's on another trip, that one to Buffalo. Uh, Moss Green Luminance. Uh, Derwent in red in the light bass range. Uh, let's go up to this. Another light bass in pine. And olive earth in light bass. Now I probably won't need as many greens because it's not really a lush landscape, but there'll be some, especially when we get to Utah. So I think you're going to keep them. And then this one is... Um, Fabric Castell Pit Oil in black, and it's really good for um, if you want to sketch your lines, but don't want the, um, if you're putting uh, watercolor on top, this will stay put. So really nice to have. Oh, and I'm probably adding this luminance in Sanguine Russet. So hopefully that all fits all right in there. Have to get these somehow back in. Put that aside for now. I am bringing uh, this sketchbook and I also have another sketchbook that I've put in my husband's um, check-in luggage. Um, he's already gone on, he's there for a conference. So this will be my little kind of travel journal. And I've treated some of the pages with, uh, well, let me get it for you. This golden pastel ground um, textured acrylic primer. So I've just put it on some of these double page spreads so that I can bring, oh, you know, they're sticking. Um, I can bring some pastels. I just got this Natural Earth half stick of eight pastels by Unison. Um, I'm sorry for my phone <laughs> constantly going. Because uh, I'm using my phone, so I have a computer beside me, so it's dinging as well. Anyways, um, these I thought were beautiful colors to go with the trip. Really, really stunning. And then I added some that I already have and just did little sticks. So I, ha I have Unison and various um, brands in here. So added some blue. Um, this was a Unison one that I just got too. It's absolutely beautiful. It is, let's see the color, BG12. It's like a blue green. Actually, here are the colors. So these are the eight colors that I got um, here. 
And then these are three colors, so I got it as extra. So that palette's going with me. These cute little boxes. So that's why I save boxes. Um, companies tend to save them too, so that they can ship uh, things like this to you. I'm gonna add a little bit of tape to that so it doesn't pop open. I'm also probably going to bring uh, some washi tape too, because I found that I, I needed that when I was away in um, New York. One of the reasons why I need tape was because the bedside light, which was pressure sensitive, stayed on all night because there was something wrong with it. So I actually had to use, um, I think I used a Band-Aid to kind of keep it down on the pressure point. So take that with me. Then, um, so back to the sketchbook, it's Sea Way at Brighton. And it's nice uh, travel size. It's got a pocket in the back. It's got more room there. I usually put a business card in there in case it gets lost. And then I have these glassine um, pages to, for the pastels because I won't have anything to fix the pastels. So they can, I've, they're cut to size and they can just slip in there and keep everything from smushing together. Then I got this little travel, um, well, I don't think it's travel specifically, but it's a really good size for that bag. I do have one of those collapsible Faber-Castell um, things, <laughs> vessels for water. Um, but I think, I know it's toss up between this and that. This I can keep in my bag and it's pretty good for not spilling. Obviously, I won't have water in it when I'm getting on the plane, um, but I can put water in it. And then when I can even paint on the flight and then put it away in my bag with the dirty water and I don't contaminate my water bottle with dirty, um, dirty watercolor water. And this is an expandable uh, water bottle that I got silicone so I normally take that and put that in one of the pockets as well and I think that's about it for what I'm taking with me um, I'm really looking forward to the trip and I will do a sketchbook tour when I complete the book last time with New York I didn't get um, as much outdoor sketching as I would have liked because of the weather. And um, so I finished that one up based on photos that I took. So the same may happen again. We'll see how lucky I am. Okay, um, so I will be back here soon and with more videos. If you like these, please subscribe. Um, please hit the like button so that we can get more views and feel free to ask questions in the comments or whatever. And you can also follow me on Instagram at Eileen Riley Arts. Thanks so much. Bye.